Hello guys, welcome to the April vlog of 2023, and uh, we are still in this house, we haven't moved just yet, although the wheels are moving on that, and uh, there should be something about that coming up very soon, but right now, my primary focus is getting ready to start a new job, or technically an old job that I go back to every year, and uh, also driving, because today is the 2nd of April, and I have my very first driving lesson, uh, official driving lesson, uh, this Friday, so about the 7th, I think. So yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting, and I'm definitely going to put my thoughts into the vlog after I've done the driving lesson, my very first one, then I'll be doing one a week, one driving lesson a week, for the next 10 weeks, I think. I think, it could be longer, it depends on how long I take to it. Um, I am learning automatic, like I said, a lot of people in England like to do manual, but I'm doing automatic, it's just a preference, um, and the the lessons are generally um, quicker and easier, but not that easier, because it's driving, you know, driving is driving, and yeah, it's going to be interesting, it's definitely a new experience for me, um, and hopefully things will go well, but so far my simulations are going rather well, I'm very much easing into it at the moment, so yeah, we shall see how things go. But yeah, at the moment, with the move, things are still all boxed up. But anyway, let's get to it. Moving on. Eating a crumpet. How very British of you. Is it nice? Ah, oh, camera shy. Yeah. Crumpet. With butter. They are nice. It's not in. You Peppa Pig? Are you going to behave? Yeah? Are you going to be good while I'm gone? Only gone for an hour? Yeah? Are you going to be good? Wait until we go on holiday and leave you for a week. Or vacation, as some people call it. You're going to love it. Not obviously, won't leave you on your own. You'll be in a kennel with other dogs barking your head off. Pongo, that's not your name, but that's what I like to call you sometimes. And you're a girl as well, so it doesn't really make sense. Okay, so uh, today is the day I do my first ever driving lesson. Um, I don't know if I'll be wearing this. I might wear this because uh, I have a, picked up a little bit of a cold. I think it might be hay fever. I don't know, but you can kind of tell them my voice a little bit. I'm not going to tell them that, though, because they might freak out and think it's COVID. But I might just wear the mask. I don't know. Um, it's not steaming up my glasses, thankfully. This mask is quite good for that. But, uh, yeah, I am apprehensive a little bit because I've never driven a car. Well, I have driven a car, sort of. Yesterday, my brother let me sort of roll his car forward a little bit. His is manual, which is how I now know that I will never drive a manual. Um, but yeah, automatic is for me, and that's that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, slightly different from uh, the older sort of American cars that have the gear thing on the side of the uh, steering wheel that isn't present on most of on all of our American uh, American and for all of our um, automatic cars. But yeah, this is. Uh, sorry, I'm having trouble breathing through the mask. Probably not a good idea to take it then, is it? Um, it's going to be a new experience. I'm going to see how I feel about it, about actually full-on sort of driving and stopping and things like that for the first lesson anyway. And uh, we shall see if it goes any further. Hopefully it will. It's in about 10 minutes. You should arrive in about 10 minutes and I'll do my first I can't film any of it, unfortunately, because of privacy reasons with the company and things. But uh, I'll tell you about it in the next cut after this, about what, exactly what happened and how I feel about it. Um, if I uh, feel good about it and everything, um, within the next month or two, I'll be buying my own car to practice in, and hopefully pass. If I don't pass, I'll just put an off-road notification onto it until I do pass. Um, or just keep on paying for learner's insurance, which you can, apparently, in this country. But no, it's, uh, it's going to be good. I'm going to stop ranting now and get on with it. So, uh, yeah, driving a car. Didn't expect this, it's just sort of random. I have all of the theory and stuff kind of going around in my head 
I have a little tiny 10 minute experience. Well, I, actually, my sister's boyfriend also let me kind of have a look at his car as well. Um, and of course, I've got all of the simulator experience as well to go on. So we shall see how that translates into this. I should also probably point out that it's not that I'm nervous about doing driving or anything like that. I think I might actually be quite excited for it. It's just that I suffer with a little bit of social anxiety and being in a car with someone I've never met, or will eventually get to know, I hope, um, is a little bit nerve-wracking. That's the kind of only thing that I'm finding nervous about it, and this collar as well, it's really annoying me. I like to stick, stick it over there. But anyway, yeah, that's just kind of the only thing that I'm nervous about. The whole driving thing, meh, but people. Yeah. People. Well, interesting. So, uh, I am back from my first driving lesson. Doesn't seem like anything's changed, really, but what would? I've only been out driving. Um, it went particularly well. You only had to grab, grab the steering wheel once, and that's just because I wasn't veering to the left enough. Um, and you had to press the brake once as well, because he has like a little brake on the other side of his chair, just to because I was not pressing the brake enough and I thought I could accelerate, um, keep accelerating as I was turning. No, just let the car do its thing. That's that's what I've learned today. Um, so definitely a lot to learn. I see that now. And uh, I'm definitely going to continue with it. I can be more confident with it. Reversing is going to be daunting. But when we get, when we get to that, um, I do it in simulations all the time, but that's in a simulation. There's no danger in a simulation. I guess that's what it is. You can feel confident in there, but you can't in real life because you've got that pressure of it being real, essentially. But yeah, it was good. We uh, drove straight for quite a while, did a U-turn, and drove all the way back over a roundabout in the UK because we have roundabouts. We do have intersections as well, but mostly roundabouts. Went round the roundabout all the way around, then came back again, but left eventually on the second exit of the roundabout and went up there and turned around again. It was pretty good. I was getting the hang of driving, making sure I kept on wanting to follow the white lines when you're supposed to follow the curb. So that's lesson learned. Um, and also I accelerated and kind of went over the speed limit by two miles an hour. And he said that could that would that would be a fail on your test if you were speeding. And I was, but only by a little tiny amount, but still, still speeding. But yeah, I enjoyed it. It was good. I was nervous because it was a new guy that I've never met before and I probably still will be until I warm up to him. But yeah, it's going to be good. Next next week we're going to do uh, junctions, which is like basically turning left and right, making sure I follow the curb there. I'll watch some videos, I'll do some more training and simulations, and so on and so on. And I'm also going to be booking my theory test at some point as well. So yeah, it went well. I enjoyed it. And can't wait to do more next week, just for an hour. It's an hour a week, but that's all I need to ease myself into, me, into it. And by the end of like, maybe, I said 10 lessons, but... I'm going to say like, more like 20 lessons, so in a couple months' time I'll be, be test ready. I hope. They have a scoring system to tell me when I'm ready, so it's very, very handy and very, very helpful in that regard. So, yeah, should be good. Moving on. So, the Monkcast is currently encoding. Um, it's going to take half an hour, apparently. I don't know why, because there's not really much to it. There's a little bit of animation in this one, which is why I've vlogged this section. Um, I decided to do some very basic animation because I had a little bit of time on my hands. So I thought, you know what? I'll just animate the first start section of the episode. And it's very basic animated. There's no syllables in the voices, in the, uh, sorry, not the voices, but the, the sort of mouth flaps, we call them, in the animation. There's none of that. It's just a basic animation with a few eye movements and eyebrows and things, just to make it more visual appe visually appealing. So, yeah. Okay, never mind. About two minutes after I ended that vlog segment, it just finished. The half an hour was just fake. It made it up. Just It just ended and came up and said, your export is complete. So yeah, the Monkcast's going up now, I guess. So, this is Forza Horizon 4. Probably, uh, probably not the best uh, game to practice driving with. But it's giving me a good idea on how to position cars and things with my driving kind of escapades at the moment. That's all I'm basically got on my mind is driving and things. I am going the speed limit in a racing game, but luckily um, these people that are driving around you see now aren't actually 
people, it's just kind of the game simulating people. Um, it, I am learning automatic, but this is manual. And I can't exactly look at my mirrors either without um, putting my arm, about, arm across the uh, camera here and... Yep. Ah, I've, lost, I've lost control of the mouse. It's weird. But yeah, I can also go stick into a higher gear. Yeah, this is why I'm learning automatic. What a stopping distance. That one. I do have Forza Horizon 5, but this is Forza Horizon 4 because it's set in England even though the wheel's on the wrong side of the car. It just gives me an opportunity to practice sort of positioning, speed control, because this is a 40 mile an hour road. And the game is a little sensitive to a real car, so I have to have more control over the actual um, positioning of the car. Because one of the problems I had on my driving lesson was I was going too far over to the white line like this. It should have indicated. So I was like, I was driving a little bit like this when I should be driving like this. And one of the things I kept on practicing as well with them is, um, don't do that, is stopping and starting. So you would go from a position like this to pulling up on the side, straightening out the car, and then coming gradually to a stop like that, which is good. And of course, you would put on your handbrake and set it to to, to uh, park, which this this doesn't have. We don't have a real automatic on this one, on this game. Yes, I have to do manual. Put it back into drive. Take off the handbrake. Observe. Indicate. Oh, there was a car coming, and then drive off like that. Essentially, that's kind of what we what I learned. What I've been going through in my simulations over and over and over again to try and ingrain it into my mind. Um, because every week when I do something in my driving lessons, I will be practicing them within the simulations. And when I actually get my real car, I'll be practicing in that as well. In real life, in a closed off area somewhere. Because there's only so much you can do in a simulation. I need to get into a hand the wheel of a real car. So within a couple of months, um, if not a month, I think eight weeks, a little bit over eight weeks, maybe two months from now anyway. Um, I will be getting a real car and practicing in that before I get my full license because you can drive with a provisional license in this country as long as someone is sat in the car who has a full license that's been driving for three years. So I hope this isn't boring, guys, but, you know, cruising into first gear there. So, as a little side project, I thought I'd actually redub the squeak. Well, it's not my favourite chipmunk movie ever in fact it's probably my least favorite but i really don't want to prioritize one over the other because you know i'm a chipmunk fan you're supposed to like everything that you can hate whatever we're not going to get into that the politics of that here and now exclusively to our discord channel is going to be an entire redub of the squeakful movie using the ross chipmunk voices and the sort of chipette voices as well of the 2015 era to see how these movies would have sounded, this movie in particular, if the voice actors would never change from Ross and Janice. It's going to be interesting to see how it sounds. But so far, I can't play it, but if we uh, look at my dirty mouse mat at the moment, which I need to clean. It was an accident, I swear. Are you okay? I'm really sorry, Dave. It's going pretty well, as you can hear. So, yeah. It's going to be fun, but it's exclusive to the Discord server, mostly because of the legality of, of well, not legality, more more of YouTube's policy on things like this. So, yeah. If you want to see this, it will be up within the next month or so, because it's going to take ages to read up a film on the Discord server. So join the server if you haven't already. Okay, so now swapping over to something else. This is the a day later, by the way, but we are now in BeamMG or BeamNG Drive, which is a super realistic driving simulator, and this is 
totally American. I'm in a left-hand drive car on the left on the right-hand side of the street, uh, completely opposite to how we drive. Um, but I am just using this to practice my positioning and things. And uh, so far, it feels good. This is actually one of the most realistic sort of driving um, simulators I've actually played. Um, probably broke a little too harshly there. Mostly because of just how the cars function and handle. I've got my hand on the um, on the gear stick as well. I don't know why, because it said automatic, but it's definitely like the way it moves, the way it starts, rolls off, the way it stops. Just everything about it just feels so realistic. It feels like I'm driving a real car. Um, it's unfortunate that it's on a 2D screen. I, wish, I really wish there was a VR mod for this. Just watching in my mirrors there. Um, um, see what I mean? I'm kind of drifting off to the side a little bit too much, but I assume you have to sort of to stay level with the with the curb here. I'm not really sure about the rules in American roads, but I'm trying to keep it's a 40 limit, so I'm just trying to keep under that limit. And it's good. I think I really think this is good. So if I stop, I can't, this is a highway, isn't it? I can't really stop on here, but there might be a different limit on this highway. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any markers for the speed limit. But everyone's way ahead of me. But if I uh, if I stop on this, what I assume is a hard shoulder, so I did look at the mirrors first. Don't worry. Stop in the hard shoulder here. Gradually move to it. Bring to it to a stop. Okay, good. I felt the I felt the uh, so let's position it into into park. Turn on the handbrake. I stop signaling. So there we go. So I fall off the brake. That's good. So the way it just feels like that. So if I was to uh, put it back into drive, my foot on the brake, put it back into drive, and then take off the handbrake, we'll start rolling forward without me pressing the accelerator. Just like an actual car, an actual automatic car. It's so difficult to find a simulator that actually does it properly like that. It's really, really good. So uh, I have to be just, oh, it's already in drive, isn't it? Now I'm pressing the brake. Great start. Then if we just mirrors, sorry, mirrors, signal, and move off. I can't look at this mirror um, without having the camera do that, which is really strange. So it's a 50 zone. So we can go quite fast here. A little bit too far over to the white line that I like, than I would like. So the, but the steering and the force feedback and everything feels very good as well. So my foot's off the accelerator at the moment, I have decreasing speed. So um, I'm a little rusty, as you can tell, but you can also probably tell um, that uh, I pick it up quite fast. I've had one lesson, one driving lesson, and this isn't even in my country. Speed up a little bit. But driving in America is a lot easier than it is in the UK. The roads are much wider, um, and there's just not many turns. Although you don't you don't have roundabouts either. Roundabouts are quite difficult to uh, to uh, navigate sometimes. Oh, the speed limit. I know you're supposed to put your headlights on, I think, on it in here, but I don't know what button that is in this setup. Another thing about this uh, simulator is that if you crash, it perfectly simulates a crash. Um, and I'm not going to demonstrate that here, but yeah, you should take my word for it. Just look it up. Beam NG, Beam NG, Drive. It's wonderful. Really, really nice experience. Really pleasurable to uh, sit and drive on here. So it looks like there's been an accident or something here. That guy's bumper has actually fell off. I can turn my head when I'm stationary. Which is interesting. So he really should have his hazard lights on. There's someone coming up behind me now. Didn't actually... Oops, wrong button. And I did it again. There we go. Okay, so today I had my second driving lesson. Wearing the same shirt just to freak him out. I'm kidding. I just I just want to wear this shirt to to uh, the, all the driving lessons because I think it will just it's comfortable. Favorite shirt. 
just if in case you're wondering, he's still wearing the same shirt. Don't worry, it's been cleaned twice since then. Anyway, it went really well. We learned junctions. I annoyed a guy driving a Porsche, uh, one of those seven-seater family car Porsches. He flashed his headlights for me to go. I stopped. Such an idiot. Kept my foot on the brake, couldn't even move. I was like, got totally confused in the moment, but he looked at me as he went past and just uh, gave me one of those sort of, it looked like that, and I just went, you know. But whatever, we were just doing junctions, said turning right, turning left, turning right, turning left. And uh, I also drove myself home on the main road with other vehicles, things like that, as you normally would. And it was a good experience. Um, as soon as I went onto the main road, everything clicked into place. I can't click very well. Um, so when I'm on the side roads doing the practicing, going around and around in circles, doing junctions, kept on getting it wrong. As soon as I went onto the main road with other cars, it all clicked into place, and I was doing it moderately fine. Didn't crash, didn't position wrong, didn't speed. Perfect, almost. So yeah, it was good. I enjoyed every moment of it. And I definitely have more confidence as time goes on to passing my test. It's way too early to see if to determine if I will or not the first time. But I'm definitely motivated to get this whole driving thing out of the way so we can have freedom, essentially. Get out of the house and not have to rely on public transport all the time. And the vlog should be more interesting too because I'll be in a car sometimes. So yeah, it's going well. It's only the second lesson. But I've already driven myself home on the second lesson. Brilliant. I'm really happy with it. Don't know why I'm shaking my head, but I'm really happy with it. Anyway. So, our moving expedition, I suppose you could call it, our moving endeavours, are uh, becoming a lot more prevalent and closer, it would seem. Any day now, we should get a new house, or any week now, to be fair. Within the next few weeks, we hope. It's all up in the air, but yeah, it's happening. It's happening, and I'll vlog the entire thing. If it's this month or next month, or if it crosses over into two vlogs, the hundred odd people that watch these videos will know everything. And the thousands of people who watch the Monkcast, they'll know nothing. Don't worry, I'm very self-aware of how many views these things get. And yes, we have a full-on car seat for when I get a car. Which is also coming in within the next few months. Come, did I say that right? It's all coming within the next few months, whatever. So yeah, things are moving on. Moving forward. Just got a lot to do. Another collection update for those that are interested. Today I managed to pick up another Miraculous doll because, as you guys know, I am a guy who collects these. And, uh, well, obviously, I have more, but those are just the ones on display. Um, yeah, so this is Multi Mouse, as you can see there. Hi. Multi Mouse, um, it's Marinette with the uh, Mouse Miraculous on. Unfortunately, she doesn't have the rest of the Miraculous kind of on her, um, but there are some pretty nice changes to this version of her with the uh, different hairstyle there. And also, she's wearing these huge boots, which is pretty cool. And she does actually have the uh, long skip rope, jump rope thing that she has, which is awesome and kind of makes a tail on her, I guess. But yeah, she also does have the the Miraculous and, of course, the Kwame. You cannot, I cannot, sorry, get enough of those in my collection. But yeah, it's going to look good over there. But I don't know if I'm going to be putting it over there um, for this time being, because, of course, everything's going to get put away. But she has to come out of the box because I don't keep things in boxes. I only keep things in boxes if I intend to, to intend to sell them, sorry. Which means I might end up taking that one over there out of the box. That has more sort of collector value as a collector it, to be in the box. It looks better in the box. I don't intend to sell it, but yeah. She's coming out of the box. This episode of the Monkcast is finished. It only has one little segment of animation in it because, like I said, we're so busy now that the moving thing is really taking off and we have to really get going with the packing and things like that even though we don't have a house yet but it's coming it's coming we have three on the go so you know if you, if you know what that means it means we have three that we're going to be looking at but anyway yeah things are really on the move and i'm learning to drive and that's taken a lot of my time and whatever you know this already so i'm not going to go on about it but like i said 
this episode of the Monk Castle is finished. That's one of the older questions there, Monk Girl. And uh, yeah, we're ready to upload it. They are pretty much simple. They're not easy to make because the recording still takes about three days to do. But it's kind of on and off. But I have to rush. It's the middle of the day. It's quite warm today as well. We're going to go out shopping and probably won't vlog it. But if I do, then that's great. Anyway, things are really speeding up. That's what I'm trying to say. So the packing is going well. Sort of. Um, it's been a very uh, slow process, shall we say. Um, we are still in the lookout for a house. It uh, wasn't as easy as when we moved into this house. Um, because, I don't know, this was a new build and we just kind of went for it because it was new. Which is kind of stupid. I don't know why we rushed into it so quickly, but now we're paying the price, I guess, because we can't move as fast. But anyway, that's not what this part of the vlog is about. So, in the UK, when you're learning to drive, like I am at the moment, if that hasn't already sunk in for the people watching this already, because I can't keep constantly go on about it, you have to take the theory test. And I've been revising for that theory test for a month. Just over a month, I believe. And uh, I can now officially say that yesterday, I took that theory test. And, uh, well, let's just say that I'm going to, unfortunately, to never have to take it again. I'm kidding. I have passed it. That's why I tried to say to my mother. I said, uh, I said to her on the phone, I went, oh, I'm going to have to take it again. Don't have to take it again. I passed. First time. I actually know of people who took 14 attempts on, this, on the same test. 14 attempts and failed. Every time, apart from the 14th attempt, they passed on the 14th attempt. But I did it once, once, and passed, which is a great thing. I mean, a lot of people, every, obviously every single driver who has ever lived in the UK, most of them have taken that, the driving test, the the theory test, unless you learned to drive in like, like 40 years ago when they didn't have it. But anyway, I have passed it. If you didn't hear that already, I have passed that test and now it's I'm halfway to learning to drive. I got to the point in the end didn't I? And with that pass I can now say that I am halfway to learning to drive because I've already taken like four lessons which might not seem like a lot because some people have to like do 20 something hours of driving but according to my instructor I am actually quite good at it. Which means I have enough confidence that within about 10 weeks when I can raise the money for it, I am going to be buying my first car. Because in this country, you can buy a car before you pass your test. Because you can actually insure it as a learner, and with a qualified driver, you can practice in that car. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy myself a car and practice in it if I haven't um, already got my test booked by 10 weeks. Because that will be like 14 lessons. We'll see what happens. But either way, in 10 weeks, roughly, I'll be getting a car. And I know that some of you are thinking, whoop de doo I've been driving for years, it's nothing special. And no, it might not be nothing special to you, but I have left driving way too long before actually learning to do it. And uh, it's something brand new and exciting for me personally. And for this vlog, I suppose, I've been, I've done like 160-something vlogs all together throughout my career on YouTube, I think. Might be a lot more than that, to be fair. I've been on YouTube for 16 years, so... Maybe longer, actually. I think it's 16 years. So, uh, you know... This is the first time something like this is going to be happening to me. It's a little it's a little less exciting than when I had my first child. But, you know, it's driving a car. It's not that big of a deal. But, to you, maybe. But to me, it's that big of a deal it is. So that's why I'm focusing a lot of it on this vlog, because driving in this country, because of how narrow the roads are and things, and how strict the rules of the road and things are, it's uh, a milestone in your life. But to move on to something a little bit more related to the channel, I am of course recording the Monkcast. You know what'll help clear your mind, Jeanette? Yoga. Look, I even got you an outfit. Come on, join me. Brittany sounds a little bit more happy in this episode. But yeah, um... The reason I mentioned this is because there's only about four episodes left and a lot of people watching this channel love the Monkcast because it's the main draw of the channel. But, like I said, only four episodes left. I think three or four episodes, I think. Something like that. There might be less than that, actually. But 
the show is going to have to stop for a couple months after that. There'll be some audio stuff like Britney Talks and Simon's Rants maybe. But I'll be working a job, moving house, learning to drive and looking after a child and everything all in one go. So something has to give. And uh, unfortunately, it's going to have to be the main draw of the show, the channel, the Monkcast. But of course, we are still doing other videos like Simon's Rants and whatever, like I just said. So yeah, it's going to be a little sad when the actual overall experience changes. So, episode of the Monkcast has genuinely been animated because I had free time and I missed it, I suppose. This is halfway through the production at the moment, though. Uh, okay. So as you can see, Jeanette's not in the right position. You're going to talk me anyway, anyway. But that's kind of the process. It's Maybe I'll do a behind-the-scenes video one day, but that's, you know, you can see part of her, two parts of her mouth showing at the same time. Also part of the process. But yeah, just thought it'd be fun. There's even going to be some reverb and stuff added to their voices to make it sound like this. Keep speaking inside this wooden tree house and things. So yeah, it's going to be good. So it seems I've inspired Naomi. So if you don't know who she is, my partner, you know, you should know by now if you watch all the vlogs. But anyway, because she is now also taking driving lessons and revising for her theory test. Yep, we're both going to be driving. Probably the same car, but I'll probably be the designated driver most of the time. Cool. Just thought I'd mention it. Because I'll comment on how she's making progress as well as myself. So that episode of the Monkcast with the animation is finally finished. It took about three days to animate it, which is... Uh, considerably shorter than it usually takes to animate an episode, but it's nice to see it animated. It's not completely flawlessly animated. There are syllables missing in the in the mouth movements, and it's not quite as animated as I'd like to it, but to have it, sorry. But uh, we have some extra body movements and things and some nice breathing effects in there, which is pretty nice. So yeah, you can tell I'm tired with my voice. Really, I don't know why I'm so exhausted today. So, today I have my fourth driving lesson. Fourth driving lesson. That's right. Since the start of this vlog, I did my first one. You saw the car pull up. Well, now I'm on the fourth one. He's literally waiting outside. So, I'm going to go and uh, I'll tell you how it went. Because this is the last driving lesson of this video. So, yeah. So, off I go. Okay, so I am back from my driving lesson. And uh, it went particularly well. Um, I definitely know how to drive. It's in the bag, you know. It's... Not too difficult, but also very challenging as well, depending on situations that you're in, and meeting situations and things like that. Which is fine, that's something we're going to cover next week, even though I did it today. Um, but in England we have these things called roundabouts, and that's kind of what I'm trying to master at the moment in my lessons. Um, it's They're okay. When you're going straight ahead on a roundabout, you just keep to the left. When you're going right on the roundabout, you just keep to the right of it, essentially. Or if there's multiple lanes, just pick the right lane and do the same. So that, so as you can see, I know what I'm doing. But as soon as I sit in that car, I suffer with anxiety, poof, brain fog. And it's very, very annoying. I'm trying my best to fight it. The most, the biggest, sorry, the biggest reason why, I'm, why it's happening is because I have a very bad sleeping pattern. On average, I sleep about six hours a night, if I'm lucky, five hours a night. And getting into a car, especially on driving lessons, with five to six hours of sleep is not a good idea. That's why I'm getting the brain fog mostly. It's triggering my anxiety because I'm not fully aware because I'm so tired. Like, you don't feel physically tired, but you want to sleep. But your head and your eyes feel so, you know, like this. And that's why sometimes I feel very, look very narrow because I'm actually tired most of the time. And I don't know why. I, I think it might be a little bit of insomnia. Um, I just don't really feel tired at the right time, which is probably my sleeping pattern, you know, my circadian rhythm. But I'm going to try and fix it, starting tonight, or maybe the next night, because you can't just go cold turkey, I suppose. Um, I'm going to try and get a full eight to nine hours to ten hours of sleep, which I have to because I start a job in two weeks, which starts at four in the morning. Sorry, the camera's up there. And I... Yes, four in the morning, I have to get up every day for... What, 20 something days? 27 days? No, that's that's less. 
whatever it is, for, for a while anyway, because it's a temporary job, so you know, I don't have to do it permanently, but I have to do that every single day. Get up at 4 a.m. to catch a bus, because I can't obviously drive legally at the moment. So yeah, that's what I have to do. And my sleeping pattern is going to suffer and suffer and suffer, and more and more and more if I have to struggle to get up at 4 in the morning every morning to go to work. So I definitely need to fix my sleeping pattern for my own good. So it's not just a driving journey that I'm taking, it's a sleeping pattern journey I'm going to be taking. And also sometimes I fall asleep watching films on the settee or the couch, which is also not good because when you sleep on the couch, you only go half to sleep because you have half your brain is asleep and the other half isn't. So yeah, not good. Nothing quite like a root beer to end off a vlog and just before I record the penultimate episode of the Monkcast. We are actually getting close to the end now, obviously, second to last, that's penultimate. Yeah, it's going to be good. And uh, hopefully I'll have about, what, four, five more driving lessons by the end of the next vlog. And by the end of the vlog after that, I'll have a car, if not by the end of the next one. Oh dear, how exciting. Anyway, until then, thanks for watching, and that's vlog over.